Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasa Allah, Koholo Yimla Yahu Bashim Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Hadash, double honors to our apostles, elders of great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yachana Nawa. Let's come at you with another quick, quick lesson praying that is edifying by the Spirit. And, um, you know, I was just watching the news, Dateline, the Miami Beach um, shooting, you know, with Jake down there acting a goddamn fool. But the, the 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 very people that I seen on the news that they was interviewing was, no doubt, the nigga woman is always going to be the end dub that that black woman. She going to be everywhere representing the state of the the nigga attitude, so to speak. Why is she there? Front and center on the news. These, these are the people that they're interviewing. Well, more, hey, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> but let's just get one of the videos. Let's just get, you know, it is what it is. Let's lock you for the, uh... Ah, oh, they gotta give you the bull, man. Anyway. In the city where anything... Let me just clip that real quick. But anyway, we skip it. Let's go back into it. It's like you. The unruly nature of too many in the presence of guns has created a peril that cannot go unchecked. So tonight, Sunday, March 19th, we will be implementing a midnight curfew for South Beach. And off the top at 5 o'clock, spring breakers will now have to clear the beach early. City of Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelber, who you just heard from right there, calling for a midnight curfew after two weekend shootings involving South Florida visitors. Crime Special's Bridget Matter joins us live with this message as we learn more about the spike in gunfire. Bridget. Miami Beach Mayor is calling this an intolerable situation. Miami Beach Police are now investigating two deadly shootings happening over the weekend. This all during spring break. Now the city is taking drastic measures, implementing a midnight curfew tonight. Large spring break crowds filled the streets of South Beach. For two nights, bullets flew despite police from multiple local agencies at every corner. Two people are dead in two separate shootings, the latest Sunday morning near Ocean and 11th. Last night, there were some gunshots and there were a lot of groups of people just running. Miami Beach Mayor Dan Gelber is implementing a state of emergency that includes a midnight curfew Sunday night until 6 in the morning. The volume of people in our city, the unruly nature of too many, and the presence of guns has created a peril that cannot go unchecked. Despite several police agencies helping Miami Beach police, Mayor Gelber says the crowds are too difficult to police. The mayor says in the last three weeks, more than 70 guns have been impounded. We don't ask for spring break in our city. We don't want spring break in our city. It's too rowdy, brings too much disorder, and it's simply too difficult to police. Arrests were made in the moments after both shootings this weekend. So City Council will meet tomorrow to discuss if these measures should be implemented this upcoming Thursday through Monday, March 27th. We're now live in Miami Beach, Bridget Matter, local news. Okay, so Salaki, I mean, hey, all the videos that I've seen thus far, all that has been interviewed is the nigga woman. They're front and center. She's there telling you about how she's having a great time, you know, and let's see here. We really don't have to go off into it because we understand it. When that so-called white man is saying that he doesn't, they don't want you there, they're talking about you Negroes because why? You're some goddamn wild-ass animals no matter where you go, man. It's just that that simple. <laughs> straight straight up. Straight up. See, these, these so-called white people, they go and they do their drugs, they drink, they do their thing, and they tear up a hotel or two, you know, a room or two, you know, and they get the fuck on. But you, Jake, you niggas gotta go everywhere you go. It's just it's total destruction. It's gotta be it's people dying. But you know what? See, you so called white people. What you have to realize is is that the these very people that go to spring break, these so called Negroes, these these very very people that you're talking about that you don't want to be there, they're the results of um being here in America for five hundred years. This is your creation. You can't 
actually be, you can't be upset about it. You so-called white people created this disastrous, monstrous um, people that's called Negroes today, man. This is this is who, this is where this comes from, man. See, because look, you all you're going to see is Jake, man. Jake. Don't know how to go out and have a good time nowhere. Now, why would you, and a lot of these Jake, they from other states. They would leave New York. Man, they'll travel all the way across the country to go. The, the women just out of control. Just it's dope. It's drugs. It's shit being sniffed, being taken. It's being, I mean, drinks. It's all. Come on, man. You see what I'm saying? And then it'll be a shooting. And, and, and it can be over something simple. Now, as you can see, I seen one um, news clip. It was just so-called white people. They just sitting there having their drinks or margaritas, and they just sitting there eating, and they just like, ah, oh, bum, bum, bum. And they everybody getting up running. But anyway, the point that I wanted to make was that, hey, we're living in the last days, man. It's, it's high time to wake out of sleep and repent. And like I said, again, when it comes to the, the Negro woman, the, the one hookup that I seen, it was just they ain't, they ain't interviewed none but black women. Like, why are you butt ass naked? Why are you there? You see what I'm saying? Like, why are you there, right? They're going to interview you, interview you, because they're definitely not running up on, old, you know, they, they, they're not running up on the men. And, and you have to re realize that this stuff is systematically put together. Anytime you look at the news and there's something that's done happening in a neighborhood, I, I noticed the other day. It was a shooting among so-called white people and the news was trying to interview them. They was like, nope, we couldn't get him on camera. We couldn't get comment. But you niggas, you'll show up. Grandma out there with mismatched socks on and a mismatched flip flops and her fucking hair crazy as hell. Teeth missing. And, and Esau Edom, the so-called white man, will run up on our, our women. And it's generally went the so-called black woman every time run up on him. And he got him looking silly as hell on national news. This one, she was just throwing her hair, the braids. And she's saying, we just here. It's just we're just trying to have a good the hell out of here. You, you, you should be at home. Let's see what I'm saying. Let's see what this one got. Police in Florida are investigating a shooting that left one person dead near Miami Beach. Gunfire erupted in a crowded area late Friday night, sending dozens of people running for cover. Police say the area was full of people who were out vacationing for spring break. Police detained one person. And another thing, too. Look at these videos. Each one of these videos, they got TikTok. This is the reason why the the, the, um, the so-called white people in America, they don't want you to have TikTok no more because the reporting on TikTok is quicker than the actual news. So they don't have the ability to, con you know, to constrain it, so to speak. They don't have the ability to, say, filter it and say, hey, well, we want this to go out. We don't want this part to go out. See, that's why they want to get rid of that Chinese TikTok. You know, they're they're basically saying, you know, TikTok is dangerous. They're stealing your data. They're, no, the reason why they don't want TikTok is because TikTok people are using TikTok to live stream your ass and, and, and get these videos. This is where the news is getting their videos from. Look at this. This the first the first video came. Matter of fact, let me back it up. Let me back it up real quick. Let's play it. What you're going to see, see in the corner? TikTok. Right. Let's play it again are investigating a shooting that left one person dead near Miami Beach. Gunfire erupted in a crowded area late Friday night, sending dozens of people running for cover. Police say the area was full of people who were out vacationing for spring break. Police detained one person. See, there you go. All you're seeing is the TikTok symbol in there. See, the U.S., they want to get rid of that TikTok shit because TikTok is, is putting people on blast for real. Like, you know, like, <laughs> hey, it's worse than... um. Because, you, you know, to go into YouTube live and to go into, you know, a lot of these lives, it would take a little bit more timing to do it. But we talking about like on some instant shit. People will be on your ass with that TikTok, man. At the scene. And last year, the city imposed a midnight curfew following two shootings in that same area. Oh, it's a lot here. But the point that I wanted to make was because it's on Dateline right now. I was just looking at it. This guy right here, he like, oh, we don't want you here. We didn't invite you here. We don't want spring break here. You know, we know we're a popular city. We don't want you here, you know, because it'd be all kinds of shit. And it shows you like the, the, the mindset of Americans, the young Americans. 
All they want to do is party, 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 party. So the government, they got a new set of dumbass people. You know, that's all that it is. It's just a new set of dumbass people. But let me go off into the scriptures real quick. Because like I said, it was the, the nigga woman. Like I said, every single time you're going to get her. They're going to definitely throw her on the news. Because that could have been a white on white shooting. But they made it seem as if it was a black on black crime or something that so-called Negroes is doing. They don't even have all the suspects or they don't even have the information. But you know who they put on there? Because the, the general population of people that are around is the Negroes. They're figuring it's you. But it can turn out that this could have been a, um, a shooting from so-called white men or so-called white women. Because they just as fucking crazy. But they're going to use you, Jake, on the news every single time. Let's go into our ain't been off in here for a minute, boy. Ooh, we. Isaiah um, 32 and verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye, hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give, give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless daughters. Or you careless women slack you. For the vintage shall fail. The, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. Which means, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep and repent. You out here being damn. You you running with the uh, Babylon of great uh, sleptism or whatever you know how I come, <laughs> you know I mean it's it's out of control man you're running with the American Greekish Roman society because that's all America is this is uh, modern day Rome Greek you know what I'm saying Greekish um things that's going on and see a lot of our people they go to these colleges they come they do you know they 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 you know they're into these Greek fraternities they get all uh, branded up. You know what I'm saying? They get that brand on them. That motherfucker put that heat on their ass. You know, try to make it seem like you're, oh, you, you, you know, you're tough. Then they run out into society and they, they join the boule uh, uh, society and they the, the Negroes is looking down on the other Negroes and it's just Negroes against Negroes with these slut bucket women, man. Them ones that you know they got their little pink and green. And these are the these are the ones that's out here at this spring breaks. When you send your daughter to an American college, you send your daughter to one of these American so-called white people's colleges. You best know that they're they going to turn into complete sluts the night of <laughs> straight up. As soon as they get there, that very first year, their freshman year it's it's all it, it's a wrap, man. You can forget about it. Your, your daughters are through. They are tainted to the bone, man. They are wicked. They turn into the most wickedest people on the planet, man. Damn near. They go along with them wicked dudes that turn them into what they um that turned into. So you have to realize who you're dealing with out here, man. You see what I'm saying? This is nothing. This this has been going on forever. Jake don't have sense enough. This is not your Martin Luther King era. At least that Martin Luther King era had sense enough to say, hey, go to school, learn, come up. Help the to help the people, help our people to become prosperous. And it, no, Shh. average person in the college right now, man, is 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 is, is if they make a, a average D, I'd be surprised, motherfuckers. I I can't even see no 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 college students actually coming across and making a a real A or a B or being on the honor society. They go in there, man, and they 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 gotta go there, work a job, struggling. Tired as hell, just you know, pretty much just overall, just a just a wicked ass society, you know, just trying to make ends meet while they're there. Then they can't, you know, just to pay off the, you know, for some goddamn books. She in a strip club and all kind. Of, it this place is stupid as hell, man. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on this, man. Um, hey. It's high time to awake out of sleep. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all better wake y'all asses up. You women, for damn sure, because it's not going to be a good look when shit hit the fans for real, and it's about to hit the fans. So while you out here with all that prideful ass, shaking your ass, and with them big ass, with them, them fucking bat wings on your fucking eyelids, you know, them feather dusters, you out here just looking retarded as hell. Getting them big ass, big old asses with them chicken, them chicken wing legs. Y'all better wake y'all asses up, man, because it's about to get real terrible out here, man. 
So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.